when somebody comes, we kind of awkwardly have to, have to <laughs> bait them on these side alleys. Hi guys, my name is Matti Sulonto and I'm a photographer and today I'm gonna take a photo walk with my friend Alexi and please also check out Alexi's Instagram down here somewhere on the screen. And today you probably noticed my camera. We both have the same camera but not the same exact model. I have the Ricoh GR Mark III. Which one did you bring or which one do you have? I have again the original version, the Mark, it, Mark I. Somehow Mark I always one. tend to go with the, with the first editions of things for some reason. For, do you have other than that? <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> but uh, that's almost the same as the Mark II. Yeah, I think they're almost essentially the it, same. I, I can't remember exactly now what I the difference is. I were. think there's uh, the Wi-Fi or something, something a minor, minor difference. I, yeah, I think you're right. I think the Wi-Fi was added, otherwise mm. it's the same as the Mark II. So this, this, is, this is usually a good deal used. That's why I, for example, have this. Mine, mine is a little bit smaller. They managed yeah. to squeeze it uh, a little bit, even though they added uh, more pixels and something like that. And I think they changed the the uh, lens optics a little bit though. Yes, yeah, the lens is different and the sensor, but other than that, it's still pretty like recognizable and uh, very similar. Classic design. I think, yes. th didn't this kind of originate already in the film GR? I've never handled the film version, but I think it looks pretty similar. Me neither, but I was somewhere where they had them all on exhibition. I can't ah. remember where that was and I saw the whole history kind of lined up. It ah. was interesting to see how the design cues went all from right. the 90s all the way up to the present ones. But now I think it's time to grab a few pictures and uh, then we can talk more about the cameras and our GR photography philosophy or whatever. Yeah, I feel liberated already. No <laughs> camera bag, no nothing, just this in the pocket. Yes, let's go. Let's go. Today we are walking around the southern part of Helsinki, also called the Design District. And this is your home neighborhood, right? Yeah, I live close by here, when not on my travels. Yes, this is... Um, uh, this has a lot of old buildings and uh, lots of expensive uh, housing here and uh, lots of uh, design uh, small like boutiques or something. Yeah, that's I think why they've tried to brand it as a design district. There's a lot of small businesses yeah. in design. And but all in all a beautiful area of, the, of Helsinki. Yeah, it's, it's a pleasant area and close to the sea. And we are trying to capture some of that beauty today on our Ricoh GR cameras. Correct. It's some of those nice fall colors. Not exactly street photography, but pleasant anyway. Street, pho <laughs> street photography is so unpredictable that I also decided if I can capture some of these beautiful fall colors that we have here also in the city. Yeah, for me, street photography is, is quite a tricky kind of photography. I don't, I've never thought of myself as a street photographer, even though I do some street photography. But in general, I feel, even with the Ricoh GR, I just go out to take photographs. And very often it's more about the buildings and the streets rather than classic street photography. And maybe sometimes in the middle there, I'll find a photograph that could be classified as street photography. But it's not really what I go out for. I just go out to enjoy take nice photos and hopefully there'll be something good there. All right, this is going to look really nice and pay attention. I'm shooting vertical or portrait orientation. I saw you, Alexi, taking <laughs> vertical pictures and I remembered I have to relearn this and now I'm doing it. This is going to look pretty nice. Leaf covered stairs and uh, sunshine coming through the trees and all that. Excellent. I really like these light and shadow details here. Details, whatever. <laughs> but the whole scene looks quite, quite nice. I really, really like the backlight and uh, those long sweeping shadows here. Are you taking uh, the tree? The tree, another one of just where unusual to myself <laughs> since I like my black and whites. I'm, but it, this, it, I'm going, just going for the colors. But and the tree looks awesome. 
I was just going to take the same picture, but now... Yeah, I think this, this just calls for taking this picture. Yes. So go ahead, don't feel bad, take the same <laughs> photo. At least I'm trying something a little bit different. So our pictures don't look, hopefully don't look exactly the same. I don't know, maybe I'm trying too hard. <laughs> look, there's people coming. I, oh. <laughs> I, I challenge you to get a good one. Like. <laughs> Backlight is the key here. Backlight is the key, all right. Let's see the master street photography in action. <laughs> it's taking a long time. Yes. We're seeing, seeming more and more awkward. Leading line here, sweeping shadows, but... Oh man! I think we better concentrate on these fall colors. It's yes. a lot easier. Maybe we have to do something gimmicky, like I, I emerge from all under the leaves or something <laughs> like that. I also like this old window. See, this is, this is where you need a zoom, because if you look over there, you see in the tower, there's a moving char character there <laughs> in the window. And, and yes. I, need, I need my 100 to 150 millimeters. And you said that it's lazy using a zoom, but lazy or not, with this 28 millimeter, I'm not going to, no matter what I do, I'm not going to get the frame I want. But um, you have the wrong approach. Uh, you have to climb up there? You you, ha you know you have a fixed uh, wide angle. You should be looking for pictures suitable for that camera. It's just another excuse. All right, I'll take your advice. I'll forget about the shots I can't get and only concentrate on the ones I can. So here's a nice inner courtyard shot with exactly the angle that I like. Actually, speaking of, of angles and zooms, the 28 millimeter, I really like the focal length. It's one of my favorites. Like if I don't have a zoom, if I have a prime lens, it's going to be usually a 28 millimeter. I have a thing for bicycles. I don't know, but somehow they look look timeless in in photographs and especially fall and bicycles. What is your favorite autofocus mode, or do you use this uh, snap focus mode I, ever? I use the snap focus mode when actually trying to capture street scenes where there's a lot of people. But uh, in slow moments like this, when there's no hardly any people here, I just use the autofocus. I, I feel it's, yeah. it's fast enough, so I don't need to use the snap focus. For example, here, here is a shot I sometimes take with this sign and somebody walking underneath it. But it kind of needs someone to come into the frame. In a situation like this, the uh, autofocus is fast enough, no need for snap focus, focus. But I do have the snap focus programmed here to this uh, function button, so I can activate it quickly, two and a half meters. Yeah. And then I crank up the aperture to 5.6 or 8 yeah. or something like that. But on sunny days on the street, it's useful. Maybe I got something. <laughs> I saw a person, actually. Another vertical picture, pay attention. I'm not sure if this is good. It's a, maybe a little bit forced composition, but I tried anyway. I'm really taking crappy street photos today. <laughs> well, we're a little bit running out of people here on these streets. They're so quiet today that when somebody comes, we kind of awkwardly have to, have to bait them on these side alleys and probably seem really creepy, but that's how it is sometimes. I think today is one of those situations that it's almost overwhelmingly pretty and uh, it's hard to decide where to point your camera to somehow capture the best of it. What do you think? Yeah, there's kind of an ob overabundance of colors almost. And yes. it really draws, it draws your eye. Yes, it's, it's, like, it's like too pretty all over the place, <laughs> almost. Yeah, it's a pretty picture day. <laughs> yes. It's me and my verticals again. I think I have to practice the opposite of taking more horizontals. <laughs> 
Somehow you can't get enough of these leaves. They are just so pretty. <laughs> so rich, the colors. Yes. Some of the leaves are really shiny and they make really nice highlights in the scene. You know, I have to agree that sometimes maybe a zoom could work. Right here, for example, would be really nice to be able to frame the red tree with these yellow leaves, but this 28 millimeter, it's just too wide for that. Some advantage is to zoom. Yeah, <laughs> I think my street photos came out pretty crappy today. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I got anything that great also, but maybe a couple of Instagrammable ones at least. <laughs> But good at least it was good fun today and lots of colors. Yeah, lots of fun, lots of colors. That's the main thing. Doesn't always have to be so serious, right? No. I hope you guys enjoyed too. And thanks for joining in. I'll see you or we'll see you in the next one. See you.